Hi guys, welcome to Couple of Styles. Today I'm going to show you the basics of doing hair. So this is one of the basic things you're going to need to know how to do if you're going to be able to do hair or to be able to do black people's hair. And um, this skill you're going to learn today is corn rolling. Now I did a previous video of how to corn roll. But you know, my, my camera wasn't that good, so now I'm going to do it again, a revised version of how to cornrow using my HD camera, so hopefully you'll be able to see properly of what I'm doing. So first of all, just make a section on the your client's head, comb it through, make sure there's no kinks, make sure there's no knots or anything. What we're going to do is, we're going to get a small piece of hair from the front, small, very small, like this much. Now we're going to split this into three. So, one, so it's one, two, and three. Yeah? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it right really close to the base of the head. So one, this one, is going to be held within this two fingers here. My thumb and my forefinger here. The middle one, I'm going to hold it between my middle finger and my fourth finger. And the last one is going to be exactly like this one, but on your right hand side. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to push the middle one back to this side. So I'm holding one this side and the rest of the hair there. So one here and one that side. Bring this back and hold it together with the hair which you have here. Bring the one which is in the middle, hand, in the middle around the third one. Bring this back here. So we're going to do this maybe two or three times. Then what we're going to do is, we're going to start picking the hair slowly, and small, small amounts of hair, very small, yeah, like this much, and add it. So when you add, when someone says add the hair as you pick up, as you go along, so you just pick a little bit and push it through your thumb and your forefinger, and bring this one from in the front back round underneath it. And basically you can do exactly what you did, but on opposite side. Pick a little bit, push it through, let your thumb and forefinger hold that, bring the ones in the middle, around and underneath. So it'll take some time for you to actually see it. So keep on going until you can start seeing it. As you can see I'm picking a little bit and I'm adding to it. Can you see the cornrow forming here? Pick a little bit and then go around. Pick a little bit add and go around and to make it go flat on the head like this you have to hold it tightly on the scalp to get this okay so your hands as you're holding it the hair has to be tight in order to grip it hard enough to keep it flat on the scalp I'm going to show you how it comes very loose if we don't grip it hard and how most people start off cornering hair. It can start slipping up like this. You don't know, you're like, oh I can't do it. See? And it lifts up here. Can you see how it's lifting? Because I'm not gripping it hard. And then the shape of the cornrow doesn't come as neat and nice because I'm not holding it very hard. You can see how tight here is compared to here. 
as I've loosened my grip. So as you're cornrowing, you need to be holding your grip tight in order for your cornrow to come out neat as well. So I'm going to undo this until where I can see it's tight. Make sure I get my three strands again. continue so that's how we do cornrows eh? so in order to make your cornrows start from the client's hairline start with getting small piece from the hairline area but if you don't want to pick the hairline and you, you don't want to start from the hairline and you want to start further back get a bigger piece then the corner will start further back so that's how to corner on my next video i'm going to show you how to corner with extensions keep on doing your things god bless you love you bye